Hello and welcome to the PressureWise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course. Searches and Save Searches. In this lesson, we will learn how to do quick searches and bring us the documents that we need. Then we will explore the different search techniques to give us more accurate search results. We will also learn how to save the searches that we use frequently. This will include who can create the safe searches as well as where we will store the safe searches. Last but not least, we will learn how to export search results and generate an Excel report. When we are not too familiar with where the documents are stored in ProjectWise, or even if we do, it may require too many mouse clicks to navigate to the folder that has the documents. Searches may be the best and the quickest way to find the documents that we need. There are different types of searches, basic and advanced, and in this lesson, we will discuss all these searches in details. The first search we will discuss is the quick search. Right under the project-wise menu, here is the quick search. We can type in a word or words which are related to the document that we want. For example, layout and click on the green arrow button to run the search. This is a pretty generic search. Any document which matches the following will be returned. For instance, the document name that has the word layout or the description or the file name that has the word layout. Even the document attributes, title or title to that has the word layout. Even the content of the file which has the word layout, it will return in a search result. If we need to find out how many documents that are returned in a search result, we can select one of the document and open the properties window. On the bottom right of the dialog window, it will show us that there are 49 documents that has the word layout. When we do generic search like this, it returns more documents than we ever need. We may want to refine our search and there are different ways we can tackle this. Did you know that quick search can be defined to search in the selected folder only and its subfolders? Remember a lot of the times we might not realize a folder is already selected. So let's take a look and see the difference that it may bring us. So from the documents root folder, we can run the search to look for documents that has the word layout in it. Another way to find out how many documents that are in a search result window is control A. At the bottom left of the screen, it will show us there are 49 documents that has the word layout in it. We can navigate to the learn folder and run the same search again. This time only a handful of documents in the learn folder that has the word layout. We can select the projects folder and then run the same search again. There are 41 documents that has the word layout from the projects folder. As we can see, it yields different search results depending on which folder is selected. If we roughly know the folder location where the documents are, this is one way of refining our search. Another interesting fact that you know is that if we search in the selected folder, for instance, BSI 10, that doesn't return any search result. Hitting enter again, ProjectWise will realize and ask if we want to search again, but this time look outside of the selected folder. Make sure we click no to search the entire ProjectWise data source. Let's go back to the root folder. Another way to refine the search is that we do remember there is another word that may associate with the document. So type in layout vertical and hit enter. The search result returned this time, but not too many. It is looking for any document which has both words layout and vertical assigned to the document. We can reverse it if we like vertical layout and hit enter. It will return the same result. 
Each word that we type in will further refine the search. We can also search for vertical and layout. This will give us the same search result. When we use the phrase vertical or layout and hit enter, it will look for documents that either have the word vertical or the word layout. So this search will actually return more documents for us. Now that we know how the quick search work is that it will return documents where it's file content or the document name or description or file name or even document attributes that has the word layout. It will return us the documents. What we really want is to run a search to look for documents with the file name that contains the word layout. Here's how. From the quick search area, select quick search settings and then choose document and folder properties. Type in layout and hit enter. There are no documents found. Why is that? Because when we type in the word layout and if we choose the document and folder properties, it will look for exact match. It would have been better if we put in asterisk at the beginning as well as putting an asterisk at the end of the word layout and hit enter. This way is going to look for any document names or folder names that contains the word layout. Instead of the symbol asterisk, we can also use percent. It will return the same result. If we want to look for any document that ends with the word layout, this is what we can do. Type in percent layout. Hit enter. So now any folder name or any document names that end with the word layout, it will be returned in the search result. Here is another handy tip. If we want to look for documents that begin with A underscore, you would think the following search will work and hit enter. Yes, even though it does return us documents that begin with A underscore, however, there are more documents that also get returned as well, but it doesn't begin with A underscore. The reason is that the letter underscore is treated as a special character. So what we want ProjectWise to do is to treat the underscore as a regular character. What we can do is we can put a backslash character right before the underscore and run the search again. This time it will truly return us any folders or documents that begin with a underscore. Let's take a look at the quick search settings the word or words that we want ProjectWise to search, we can ask ProjectWise to search all content that will be searching everywhere in ProjectWise. The file content, the document name, as well as the document attributes. Or select full text search to only search the file content and ignore searching the document attributes. We can also confirm where or what ProjectWise will search by clicking on settings. Here on the general tab, we can set ahead of time if we want ProjectWise to look in the selected folder only or the entire data source. On the search types tab, there are three built-in search types. It will let us know what it will and will not look for. For instance, document and folder properties. ProjectWise will not look at the file content, nor we will look at document attributes or the work area properties to search for the word that we typed in. We can also define our own search type. For instance, here we see that there is a custom search type that was created earlier that it will only look for document attributes as well as work area properties. Let's go ahead and hit cancel. Did you know that before we search, we can always right mouse click in the search bar and choose to search in the current folder only or the entire data source. You would agree most of the time we only look for documents, but just FYI, 
project-wise allow us to look for not just documents, but work area or project as well. For example, if we know that Bill Bailey is leaving the company and we want to know which projects, Bill is the project manager and will be affected by his departure. So let's go ahead and click on the advanced search icon. Here we have the document search, which allows us to search for documents. But in this case, we actually want to select the search builder so that we are looking for projects that Bill looks after. Let's go ahead and click OK. And since we are not looking for documents, let's go ahead and select work area and folders. On the criterion type, let's select work area properties. And then in the property drop down, let's go ahead and select project manager. And then for the value, we will put in Bill Bailey and then click on add criteria. Then let's go ahead and hit OK. Now we know that these are the two building projects that Bill Bailey looks after. Next, we are going to see how we can search for documents based on its attributes. So let's go ahead and click on the advanced search icon and select document search. Hit OK. Environment, which will be covered in a separate lesson. But since we are going to search for documents, based on its attributes, it's worthwhile to discuss briefly about it. Basically, environment is just a set of attributes that can be assigned to documents. When the two environments that have an attribute with exactly the same name, for example, Title 3, when we search for the word layout in Title 3, hitting apply will make this dialog window with the search criteria remains open. If we hit OK, the search criteria will be dismissed. Either way, the search result will be returned in the background. If we enable this option, the search result will be open in a separate window. So when we search for the word layout in Title 3, all documents will be displayed in the search result. When Title 3 has the word layout, we can see a long list of documents return in the search result since it searches across multiple environments. If we are only interested in looking at documents associated with the simple environment and with the word layout in Title 3, we simply enable this option, find in this environment only, and hit apply. As we can see, this time it returns a shorter list of documents in a separate window. If we want to execute an advanced search, from a selected work area, we can right mouse click, advanced search. If we don't want this dialog to open each time we run the search, we can enable the option, make this visit the default choice and select document search. Hit OK. Since we right mouse click on the BSI 200 work area, project wise already know which work area to search in. The next search we will run is to look for documents from the BSI 200 work area with document type of either drawing or other. Let's see how we can do it. First, let's go to the attributes tab and in the document type drop down, select drawing. And since we are not allowed to select the other document type, we can just click on the add or group button. Now we can choose the other. But before we run this search, we want to make sure we go back to the general tab and ensure that we only select documents from the BSI 200 project. Yes, we also want to look for documents that are inside the subfolders. So by using the add all group button, it allows us to look for documents that the type is either drawing or other. And since this search is quite complex and we will frequently run it, why not save the search criteria by clicking on the save search and then save as. It will automatically save this search criteria in the respective work area. We can click on the browse button to choose a different location to store this search criteria. Root is a common location where all the saved searches can be stored and it's not specific to a work area. But for this one, we will be happy to store the safe search in BSI 200. So let's go ahead and hit cancel. Here, this defines who can save the search. 
Global is specifically for administrators. Once administrators save the search criteria, all the users will have access to it. For regular users, they can save it under personal, and it's only accessible to that individual user. Give the save search a name, and also enable which view to use to display the search result. Go ahead and click save. We don't have to run this search now, since we already create the save search. So let's go ahead and cancel out this dialog box. We can access the save search by going to the BSI 200 under the save search node, select personal, and here is the save search that we just create. Clicking on it, it will run the save search to look for document types of drawing and other. If we ever need to refine the search criteria, we can always right mouse click on it, show in document search. Here we can modify the search criteria to suit our needs, but make sure we remember to save the search again once we have modified the criteria. The search result is only available to us as long as there is an active session of ProjectWise Explorer. So in order to save the search result, what we can do is we can select all the documents from the search result, right mouse click, copy list to, and then clipboard tab separated. This will save the information and then we can paste the search result in an Excel file. We can also format the search result the way we want it. During this lesson, we have learned how to do quick searches as well as exploring the different search techniques to give us more accurate search results. We also learned how to create safe searches as well as exporting the search result and generate the Excel report. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.